Uh, I have no idea what the Belarusian... Oh, looks like. So you get Polizia. You get Gommel. Then Brest goes to Belarus or Poland. I think I'm going to give this to Belarus, actually. Like, you use this river as the border. And then Ukraine, we're going to leave as Ukraine. Uh, Romania already has Bessarabia. Don Cuban Union wants some of that stuff, but I think we're just going to let it fragment. Right, French Republic. French Republic, um... Liberia. Was Liberia in this war? Give it to the Union of France. Yeah, I think I will. And then Dahomey. I don't even know where that is. What's that? And then Ukraine, I guess I'll take. see what peace deals it wants me to make. Treaty of Dakar. Coming to France took 24 states, Britain took 3, Belarus took 3. Oh no, Australasia is now in charge of the Entente. And French Republic is unrepresented. And we have some new stuff that we can build, so I definitely want to get the Light ship hull. And now that we're researching that, we're going to go... Oh no, we've already got the light hull. Enabled, that's good. And... Forty-three artillery. Twenty-six days. Nice. The fall of Wuhan. After a pitched battle, the, the Tri-City area of Wuhan fell to the Fentian government forces earlier today. Oh, Russian Republic is actually going after Zhili. Uh, against Turkestan. Qing government has capitulated. So finally, China and Japan are actually starting to consolidate some of that region. But Copro, compared to us, is still just so weak. I mean, this is a massive third international at this point with our 2.1 thousand factories. And we've still lost very little manpower. Like, I'm still not sure that I've actually lost a million. I don't think I have. Alright. Uh, let's go with... Martial Law. Fate of Ukraine. Here it is. Liberate a friendly Ukraine. That's the only choice I get. I guess we'll go with that one then. Oh, I still get this. We'll see if anything comes of that. Might be after the fall of Russia. Which has got to be getting closer. It's more than halfway now. I 
they retake Petrograd? No, they did not. Afghanistan joined the Istanbul Pact. So actually at this point, the Istanbul Pact is probably the strongest part. We're not actually at war with the Ottomans. The Ottomans are at war with the Balkan Pact, but that's it. Yeah, the Istanbul Pact is pretty strong. Russia's formed the Moscow Accords again. Brazil left Reich's Pact. We're actually at peace with them. Uh, are we actually? I'm not sure that's true. No, <laughs> we definitely are not. Madras cancelled their non-aggression. That's an interesting choice, shall we say. Spanish tanks. Nice. How many troops does Spain have? Well, I'd imagine it's a fair number by now. 90 divisions. 154 factories. That's really good. Well done, Spain. You're the third largest? Poland has 109. Oh no, America has 300. How many does... Italy have 142. So yeah, Spain has more than Italy. I mean, granted it took Italy a really long time to consolidate. Italy's gotten Mussolini in charge. Hunan clique has capitulated. Have not gone for the miracle yet? Exiling the Pope. I misread that. I thought that was eating the Pope. <laughs> okay, new technology. Let's go for some engineering. And we are now facing off against the Finn. State of the economy. Our economy was enlarged in the time leading up to the war. The extraordinary Congress is now to face the decision of whether pushing for further expansion or prioritizing the healing of the wounds inflicted by the war. Onwards, British industry. Build, build, build again. Consumer goods down. Efficiency cap up for a year. Or we must aid our deprived citizen to gain more political power at the cost of consumer goods. Well, I don't need the consumer goods. I don't really need the efficiency cap either. So we're going to aid our deprived citizens. We're going to show them that all of the suffering that they've faced so far, Comrade Mosley's got their back. I think I've actually seen it with uh, Mussolini in charge. So with someone else. Warmonger. Plus 50% focus on offence. Cut out the red tape. Fighting a war often allows for some unsavoury elements in the bureaucracy to carve out a little of their own empire while the government is embroiled in defending the homeland. We need to overcome these war profiteers with all due haste. Did they release Greece? They did. And Yugoslavia did form. Serbia created Yugoslavia. <laughs> we have so much equipment at this point. I could totally make my infantry divisions into 40 widths as well, but I don't think I need to. The Marines are in their final form. The new Mosley armies are in their final form. And we could probably build some more. And we now actually have a lot of light tanks. Spare. In fact, you know what? I kind of like the idea of getting a couple more of the cavalry divisions. My poor old Briggs has just been... Leaving the the least possible troops that he could have had. Let's 
go up to like 10 more divisions for Briggs to lead. Okay, so Fentian is now conquering China pretty quickly. They seem to be falling like dominoes. And that's the last of the industry. We could get rocket artillery. Most of our armies do have that spare slot. Let's get the 44 aircraft. Here we go, attacking into Finland. They really can't have very much left to face us with. So they've lost a lot. Yeah, they're on all adult serve with 290,000 people left. Victory of the Princely Federation. Since the end of the Welt Creek, the Indian subcontinent has been split into three sides. The loyalist remnants of the British Raj, the socialists of the Indian National Congress, and the reactionary Indian princes who rejected both sides. With the dust finally having settled, the reactionaries are proven triumphant, and Osman Ali Khan now rules unopposed. Over a region that as new and independent monarch, setting his nation up to become a preeminent world power once it recovers from the devastation of the Civil War. The rule of the princes shall never end. Okay, your line has grown a bit too much there, buddy. And then I think I also need to say your line needs to be a little bit more optimistic and take even more stuff. Such calm music for all the hundreds of thousands of people that are dying right now. Although I think this is mostly just a small, a slow march over completely unopposed territory. Carol of Romania expels the Iron Guard, the fragile alliance between Carol II of Romania and Codero's legionary movement was seemingly fated not to last long, and news from Bucharest has confirmed that it finally collapsed. A clash within the seemingly powerful legionary movement was masterfully exploited by Carol II to oust their cabinet and break their dominance of the government, with the king announcing that the time has come for such divisive factionalism to end in the country and taking full control of the process. And Zartzin is now at the very edge of our line. I'm just going to tell you to attack it. And hopefully the fall of Zarigrad is going to be the end of this. 98%. Come on! Homing torpedoes. So now our submarines are delightfully dangerous. That's going to be another escort fleet, which under your command can do that, can do that, and then can do that. And there it is. Pope arrives in the state of Peru. Pope Pius XII arrived in the state of Peru today, having sought refuge there since his exile from Rome was decreed by the Socialist Republic of Italy more than a week ago. While exhausted from the journey, the Pope addressed an enormous crowd of well-wishers and faithful gathered outside of his hotel and called on the rest of the world to seek endurance and strength of heart in the face of the syndicalist menace. And on that same day, the Russian Republic has fallen. And with it, a joyous occasion. 
as we will see the restoration of our good friends Pukyov and Kirov. Was it Kirov? Pukyev and no, it was um, Konev. That was it. To their native Russia and Gorbatov and Franz. I totally forgot we had Franz. Whoops. He's a pretty good commander, actually. Pukiev is returning as a really, really decorated soldier, though. We'll have to find some way of replacing him. And now the wave is... F oh. oh, that's the French. The French have actually taken most of the south. Cool. Well, this is going to be our objective. Go. Go. Because we're not at war with the Russian Republic. Alright, new technology. Those were the naval techs. I think I'm going to go and get small caliber fire. I'm not going to do anything with the factories because those are about to be lost to us. And here we go, the fate of Russia. After a long fight with the Russian state, we launched a full offensive and forced the Russian armed forces to surrender. Moscow is now in our hands and the fate of the Russian nation with it. So liberate the core Russian lands or liberate Russia with all of her lands. We're going to get Russia with all her lands. And here we go. This might take a moment. <laughs> if I do just the core land, their focus tree is just going to have them declaring war on it again, so I might as well just give it all. I'm not doing military occupation, hell no. I mean, I do have the manpower and the equipment for it, but no. I want to restore my very awesome generals who have been fighting for the Union of Britain in exile and restoring them to their country. Hey, Quack. Come on. There we go. And there we have it. The Russian Socialist Republic. Under Karl Radek. And they do have a focus tree. Huh. They have a big naval tree. Interesting. Now I want to see if there's an event for these guys to be returning home or if that's going to be a focus. That's probably a focus, isn't it? Naval Russia win. I mean, we tried that once with Trans Summer. It was not a fun game. Rally the defectors. Gets event. Generals join the revolution. Russian Republic transfer a percentage of its forces to the Russian Socialist Republic. That's not it. They got all of these free. So the Russian Republic's generals join them. But not the ones which are abroad. At least not yet. Meanwhile, Sweden is close to capitulation. Finland is not looking too much better. Uh, did I screw your line up again? I think I did. Yeah, I totally did. OK. 
Carry on. Look at this stack of units on the way in. That's a crazy number. Helsinki has fallen. We're on the outskirts of Turku. Although apparently Finland's a tough cookie to crack. Who'd have thunk it? Ready to move. Fall in. Carry on. I think divisions are there now in the north. Portugal has capitulated again. Not the first time. Probably lots and lots of naval invasions being tried against Brazil. Suriname was actually spat out of the Netherlands. That's interesting. West Indies has capitulated. And now it's just the Australasian Confederation left in the Entente. Sweden and Finland are both almost out. France took more of America. Mm, only a tiny bit. There's a new light ship. I can't really be bothered to create it though. Oh, whoops, I should have spent points on that. Never mind! We've got some more Marines to add to the Marine Corps. You're up to 20 Marine divisions. That's a few! And alright, it's time for Democles. We shall base this new research centre in Manchester. This large centre of industry will prove ample workers for construction. Central location will make it easier to move resources there. And we have some more infantry. Which are going to be for you. Oh man, you lost some. You lost one. There's Finland. All right, Norway. Norway, 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 where is Norway? There's Norway. The fall of Rio de Janeiro. The fighting in Rio de Janeiro seems to have... Ooh, Hyderabad joined Co Prosperity. Ended after days of gruesome assault by Italian forces. Despite the city's defensible position, the Brazilian garrison could not prevent the Catet Palace and most of the city proper from falling into Italian hands. And now it's just Sweden, who's lost a million men. Crikey. Most of them to me. This Norway releasing Finland. Don't do it, Norway. Ah. The Finnish Socialist Workers' Republic. And we've got the Seahawk, which can be replaced here. And then we can get the Firebrand, which is the next naval bomber. And in fact, you lot need to have a new order there. And you do as well. Carry on. And there it is. Sweden has also now fallen. And I feel like Norway is going to want more of this. Norwegian Union, Sweden, take all states, and turn done. And that, I think, is a pretty good spot to end this. So, Third International is now pretty much the entirety of Europe, except for the militarily occupied Ireland, the actually neutral Denmark and Switzerland, and Albania. They managed to stay out of this. Um, there is an interesting divide starting to occur. It's like a three-way 
tension over here, but the third international is just so far ahead of pretty much everyone else that there is no difficulty left in this. Even if we did go up against the co-prosperity sphere, they've still not taken out the whole of China. Yes, they've got India. Yes, they've got Japan, but this wouldn't be a contest. So, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to hit that follow button so you get notifications when I'm live again in the future. If you've really enjoyed this, then please do consider subscribing. It helps the channel out lets me do more of this kind of content. You can, of course, check out the Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash viking. I do have a YouTube channel where you can find this series being uploaded in its full. You can find that at youtube.com slash viking. Then finally, I have a Discord, which is where the community is hanging out. They're a cool bunch, and it's always a real pleasure to see some new faces over there. So come, join us. Say hello. You'll be more than welcome. I'm going to go and see who else is streaming at the moment. Is there anyone else doing Hearts of Iron? Preferably with Kaiserreich, but not necessarily. Mm. No. Uh, Jito, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Oh, CPM's on. And you know what? CPM has a lot to do with Hearts of Iron. He is developing a submod for Kaiserreich. So head on over to CPM's channel. Say hello from Mordred Viking. I'd love to see his chat lit up by the Viking Raid, which you can do by copying and pasting Viking Raid just like that. Or if you're a subscriber and you want to bring the long ships, you can do that too. Anyway, that's going to be it for me for now. Thanks everyone for watching. I will see you next time, which is going to be tomorrow. There are streams tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. And those streams are Total War Warhammer at 5. And then after that, we'll be starting a new game of Hearts of Iron 4 in Kaiserreich at 10. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you again next time. Until then, bye-bye. Oh, actually, if you have any ideas of what nations you would like to see, hit me up on Discord about that. Discord would definitely be the place to start that discussion. I'm thinking probably Naval Ireland, although we've just done Union of Britain, so not sure. We'll, we'll have to make a decision about that. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you all next time. Until then, bye-bye.